Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will again continue speaking about the Dynama. So we already did a lot of the things in Dynama, so watch the previous the series about Dynama and there we complete all the things about the dots, how you can place the dots, how you can manipulate that, how you can create for example the some shapes and overall all we already finish. So anyway, the Dynama we just starting to learn, as I said, it will be like 20 plus tutorials and as I said, we will do it slowly to better understand how to manipulate all, all of these knots. Okay, so what we're gonna do today? Today we will manipulate not only with knots, today we will start to use the sum families, how we can place the families uh, on the sum uh, dots. Uh, how we can manipulate these families and how we can make the array the families on for example the curve so let's get started so here is my dynamo uh, and as always I will create the new one let's create the new one and here is our working space actually it's up to you you want to work only in dynamo or you need some uh, elements from the Revit for now we don't need some elements from the Revit, so it means we can work only in Dynama and let's I will make on the big screen. So what we're gonna do right now, right now we should uh, place uh, somewhere our um, geometry. But before I will do that, I need some curve, uh, maybe some line. We already know how to create the line, so let's do that. Uh, we need the dots, so to find the dots, we should create the uh, we should create the points. Let's uh, write like point by coordinates. Here is here it is, and as you can see here, immediately we get uh, point number one uh, because by default this all points have the number zero. So the number zero, this is um, uh, center of our uh, coordinate system so I will copy that one one more time and here I will change for example uh, X or Y Z it's the height I don't want to change the height I will change only only X or Y so let's double click and we will find the code and let's say I want to make one meter so one meter it means 1000 1000 let's connect to the Z well, you cannot see anything because actually the uh, it's so small. Let's let's go back and as you can see here is the our second dot. How I understand now? If I will select this node, I will see the uh, immediately it uh, will select that node. If I will select this node, I will select that dot. So and now we need the line. So let's find the mm, line line start and end point and let's connect this point and that point and we will get our curve actually we get the line but anyway we by this way we can get the curve it's only up to you we have here the noobs curve the by points so if you have one, more than two points you can create more interesting thing but we are talking now about uh, some simple things so right now we need to divide our curve by some points because we now have only two points, the start and end point. Now I want some uh, points on the middle of that. You already know how to do that, but anyway, I will do it one more time. Just right click to the uh, use the search mode and let's write the curve point point by parameter, add parameter, sorry, not by parameter, add parameter. Uh, here on the first we will go connect our curve. And the parameter it's uh, Revit asking us the mm, what the parameter we want. As you know, here is the zero, here is the one. As you can see here, we have the direction line, so it means here the zero. It's as simple as that. So let's use, for example, the code block, or you can use the slider. It's only up to you. I will use 0 0.5. As you know, the 0 0.5. This is middle one. Let's connect it, and we will find here the one dot. Uh, also, you can do like this. You can say zero, two dots, zero point one, two dots, zero point point one. Let's say we get only one point here. Let's say here one, and we get ten points. So because if you will divide one to the zero point one, you will get ten points. So here we have the ten points, actually eleven, sorry. Because uh, actually Revit, uh, not Revit, the uh, 
uh, all programs things uh, counting 0 to so if you for example want 11 points uh, you should write the 12 points if you want a 10 points you should write 11 points and just on and on because you always will have plus one point so this is programming things okay anyway we get 11 points it's also not bad as you can see it's uh, all, all all the ways on the, our curve for example if I will change the um, uh, the distance of my line let's change to the 1500 millimeter and it will automatically uh, dividing now to the 11 points uh, with the uh, same direction, same distance. So it's automatically, you don't need to do anything, you just change your dimension and Revit, I mean Dynamo, will automatically divide it to the 11 points. So cool. And now we can use it to place some geometry on these points. Let's do the some simple thing. We will, uh, for example, place here the some family. So to place some family we need the node uh, which call family type. So as simple as that. Let's write here the family family type. Ah it's it's here already. Uh, let's see what we have now inside our template. Uh, actually I want to place let's say the some trees. So let's try and find find here the uh, RPC tree as you can see let's use the some smallest one like tree and point one meter as I can see here let's use this uh, oh three meter so this I will use that one uh, so we have the our tree we have the our points and now we need connect two of them so as you understand we have already not not calling the family instance by point so family instance instance by point as you can see here as you understand the first thing this is our family the second thing this is our points and now it will automatically place our points I mean the our trees let's see on uh, inside the Revit because now here you cannot see that but inside Revit you can, you can see here is our trees so let's go to the 3D mod as you can see it's, uh, it's not its distance it's so small Let's change our distance to 10 meter at least. Mm, let's make not not 10 meter. Let's make more than 10 meter, 20 meters. So let's make the 20 meters and let's see what's going on here. As you can see, yes, this is what we want. Let's disincrease about. Uh, I, this is not the problem. This is not uh, the mistake. Uh, I will uh, introduce you what the problem is right now. Actually, Dynama saying like. You have so large project and actually your uh, current project it's not uh, updated to the extra large projects. So to do switch uh, your Dynamo to the large projects you should go to the settings. Here find uh, the geometry scaling and change medium as you can see only 10,000 units to the extra large. So extra large is 100 million. So this is much, much better for us. And let's say apply. And as you can see, now it's not uh, any problem. It's actually like if you have slow PC, it's uh, helping you understand. So we are using really big ge geometry. So here it's 20 meter. And as you can see, uh, it's a lot of the trees. I don't wanna use so much the trees. You can change, for example, here, the, it's from the zero to the one. This is what I want, but I don't wanna make it each uh, one meter. I wanna make it each two meters. So as you can see now, each two meters, I have the trees. So this is as simple as that. Okay, so now you understand how to create uh, the points. Now you understand how to place uh, some geometry. It's not be only RPC trees, you can place here anything what you want let's try to find here the sum uh, maybe let's try to find not the system of glazing uh, I want to find like the table uh, I have the table in this project I'm a hundred percent sure you can place the table so you can change anything what you want uh, but it should be the stand alone so you cannot put the door because door needs uh, the walls it will be wrong if you will put the door without the walls uh, brick circle I cannot find the uh, table but you you know if you have the table you can place the table it's not a problem okay uh, so uh, let's continue talking about the dots now let's a bit modify our um, nodes 
let's say you don't know the uh, for example the points or you want to use the custom line I mean the from the Revit so in this point you want you need the select model element so let's find here the node select select uh, node element so select model element where is that select model model element so this is first one let's use it and as you can see you should select something actually you should select the line because uh, our not working with the line I mean with the curves and let's create here the, some curve let's say I will do the architecture here I will find the model line and I will use for example the maybe the spline and let's I'll draw something like uh, that and enter so as you can see here is the my line and let's go back to the dynamo and I will use this node now select and select this node and this line now we have the selected this line and we want to place our trees on this line okay so what we're gonna do next now we need to connect our elements to the curve but how we can do that because uh, actually our curve is not a line I mean the our element uh, now is it not a line uh, I mean the not divided by points so let's connect it to the curve and we get the problem as you can see why we get the problem because actually now Revit understand like this is some model but it's not recognizing this is element curve so as I said if Revit not understand we need uh, help to him let's find here element curve element uh, curve aha uh -huh, here and as you can see here uh, dynamo transferring element to the curve this is what we want and let's connect it and as you can see now it's working now Revit understand what is that we change only that position and as you can see our uh, trees already changed so uh, let's divide for example mm, 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.1 we can do that or we can write here for example 0 0.5 and as you can see it changed in the position so the but problem is right now as you can see we have only one tree <laughs> but anyway as you can see we get one point uh, if we will change and we'll do the same situation like we did before like zero double dots um, one double dots zero point one as you can see here we have like 10 points so 11 points actually from the zero we have 11 points but here inside coming only one point so what's going on why only one point because we get 11 points here and here only one and that's why we have only one tree so what we get gonna do actually you should change the lacing because now uh, Revit uh, I mean Dynamo understand only mm, the first point like the list so we need change the lacing to the cross lacing so how you can do that just right click on this node here you will find the lacing and this is type of the uh, understandable uh, your list so uh, let's uh, use all of that so if we will use for now short one short one we will find only the shortest uh, shortest the point as you can see only one again point let's go now to the longest one longest one this is all our points as you can see and what's going on here yeah all points all trees and the last one this is calling like cross product let's use the cross product you don't have the you cannot see the any differences but I really recommend you for this situation use the cross product because cross product will transfer all your dots without any exception as you can see here's your dots of course now if you will change for example the type uh, I mean the encode block uh, like not each meter you want to each the two meters it will be each two meters as you can see now actually it's not correct it's not actually two meters it's two uh, units uh, because we have the zero here and one here and each two uh, zero point units uh, zero point two units we uh, have our tree so to get the uh, distance we should divide this um, uh, this curve to the distance and use the distance so it's it's not a problem but uh, we will do it the next time right now it's finished uh, I hope you understand how you can now place your 
um, your trees now as you can see we can use the two type of the uh, placing the trees we can use the by selected the curve or we can just create the curve in dynamo and after that placed our points the but only the point the main points uh, don't forget about the lacing lacing you should use only if your curve comes with from the Revit, not created in dynamo so thank you guys for watching i hope it was interesting and useful for you don't forget about the likes comments and whatever thank you guys and see you next time